know your IS code provisions short lecture series. So in this lecture, I will explain about design horizontal earthquake load. That is clause number 6.3.2. So when earthquake load is there, how many load combinations we have to take into consideration and arrive at design load. And also earthquake load in X direction, earthquake load in Y direction. So do we need to consider both at a time or uh, independently and arrive at the design board. So these things I will discuss in this lecture. So let me share my screen. Yeah. Design horizontal earthquake load. <clears throat> so when lateral load resisting elements are oriented along two mutually orthogonal horizontal directions when that is the condition. So that means frames are aligned, frames or structural walls are aligned in perpendicular directions to each other. So X direction uh, uh, lateral assisting elements and Y direction lateral assisting elements, both are aligned in perpendicular direction. So the structure shall be designed in that case, the structure shall be designed for effects due to full design earthquake load in one direction at a time. And not in both directions simultaneously. So earthquake is a like a complex uh, shaking. So what the assumption is, is the like the earthquake shaking component is divided into two X direction and Y direction. That is east west direction, north south direction, depending on the uh, resolution or how in, in what components we are resolving. So usually in design for design sake, it is X direction and Y direction or uh, perpendicular direction and parallel direction to the building axis. So both these things. So in that case, what code says is, the maximum will not occur simultaneously in, in uh, both the directions. So hence uh, design in one direction at a time is sufficient. So that will be more conservative. So let's take this building. So earthquake, force x, eqx in x direction. So that means gravity load that is dead load, imposed load and earthquake load in x direction and take all the combinations. That is earthquake load in x direction means positive x and negative x also. So similarly in similarly y direction. So earthquake load in y direction. That is dead load, imposed load and earthquake load in y direction. So then when we consider this earthquake load in X direction and earthquake load in Y direction separately, then how many load combinations we have to take into account. So let's look at that. The first one, let's take X direction. So there are three uh, load combinations in addition to uh, like uh, dead load plus earthquake load, sorry, in, dead load plus live load. So dead load 1.5 times dead load plus 1.5 times live load, that is one load combination. It doesn't have earthquake. Now the load combinations involving earthquake load, let us look at. First one is dead load, imposed load and earthquake load. All three are uh, there. So that's why load factor is 1.2, 1.2, 1.2. So we consider that in two, that is one positive X direction, negative X direction. So these are two. And another load combination with 1.5 times dead load plus 1.5 times earthquake load in X direction. Again, minus 1.5 times earthquake load in y, uh, minus in x direction. So x direction uh, positive, x direction negative. So another two set, um, a set of two. And then another load combination that is 0.9 times dead load plus 1.5 times earthquake load in x direction. Again, minus 1.5 times earthquake load in x direction. So this all put together, it is six load combinations. And uh, in y direction, similarly, Six, six, so same uh, similar set corresponding set in Y direction. So this six in X direction, six in Y direction, to total 12 plus 1.5 times dead load plus 1.5 times imposed load, that is 13. So total 13 load combinations we'll consider when uh, frames, that is lateral load resisting elements are aligned in orthogonal direction. So total 13 load cases. So in case they are not aligned orthogonally, then what? So what code says is 
when lateral load resisting elements are not oriented along mutually orthogonal horizontal directions. So in that case, structure shall be designed for simultaneous effects due to full design earthquake load in one direction plus 30% of the design earthquake load along other horizontal direction. So that means what for getting earthquake load in one direction, code says is 30% of the other direction also should be added in this direction. So something like this. So this plan that is lateral, that is frames and structural wall, they are not aligned in uh, orthogonal directions. So in that case, what code suggests is, structure shall be designed for, you can see, should be designed for the following sets of combinations of earthquake effects. That is, <clears throat> plus or minus earthquake load in x direction, plus or minus 0.3 times y direction. So this is earthquake load in x direction is replaced with this one. Similarly, earthquake load in y direction is replaced with this 30% addition, additional 30%. So, you can clearly see when x and y are two orthogonal horizontal plan directions, thus EL is the load combination in the load combinations given in 6.3.1 shall be replaced by ELX plus or minus 0.3 ELY or ELY plus or minus 0.3 ELX. So in that case, how the load combinations will look like, let us see. Full earthquake load in one direction plus 30% of earthquake load of the other direction. So that means EQX is replaced by EQX plus or minus 30% of EQY. Here EQ or EL both are same. Here it is mentioned as earthquake load. This EQ is earthquake load in X direction. EQY is earthquake load in Y direction or ELY. Now let's look at total number of load combinations which will arise due to this. Okay, so what are the sets of load combinations to be considered shall be given as, what is that? The first one is, you can see, <coughs> X direction as well as Y direction. In X direction, 1.2 times dead load plus 1.2 times imposed load plus or minus 1.2 times earthquake load in X direction, which is replaced by earthquake load in X direction plus or minus 30% of earthquake load in Y direction. So the whole bracket term is replaced, means with uh, ELX is replaced with this whole bracket term. Similarly, ELY is replaced by this whole bracket term. Okay. In another earthquake load combination, same thing, 1.5 times dead load plus or minus 1.5 times Earthquake load in X direction should be there, but it is replaced by earthquake load in X direction plus minus 30% of earthquake load in Y direction. Similarly, in the Y direction. And the third load combination is this one. Now, all these things put together, how many sets will come? So here you can see plus minus. So we work with minus 0.3 ELY, earthquake load in Y direction, plus 0.3 earthquake load in Y direction. So that will be total in this one, eight load combinations. So this is plus or minus, this is plus or minus. So 1.2 times dead load plus imposed load plus earthquake load in X direction plus 30% of earthquake load in Y direction. So this portion will give four load combinations. And similarly, Y direction will give another four load combinations. Then the second set is, this is two. Second set will also give eight load combinations and the third, set will you also will also give again another eight load combinations so total eight load combinations for the first case eight load combinations for the second case and eight load combinations for the third case third case in addition to this the total 24 load combinations in addition to this we have one more load combination that is dead load plus live load so that means 1.5 times dead load plus 1.5 times imposed load so total 25 load combinations so that we should uh, like take into consideration for the design. So the intention of this short lecture is to help students and practicing engineers to understand IS codes in a better manner. And following references have been used in the preparation of this slides. So thank you.